Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Done wonderful things, mighty God, mighty God, mother of things. You have done glorious things, you have done wonderful things, mighty God, mighty God. My night was great. Oh, we were busy yesterday. My night was glorious. You have done glorious things. You have done. Wonderful things, mighty God. God bless you so much. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you are online, you share the video. Invite people to join us. Hallelujah. God bless you so much. Good morning from America. <laughs> Good evening in Malaysia, Dubai. Good afternoon in Nigeria, wherever you are watching from. Oh, what's the time in your place now, Priska? What's the time in Lebanon? I think now is uh, 24, 25 past 12. Thank you, Jesus. You have done glorious things. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you so much, wherever you are watching from. You are all blessed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. God bless you. If you are already online, you like, you help me and share the video so that others can join us. Oh, in Ireland is uh, 11, 26 past 11, 26 past 11, uh, okay, a.m. Okay, we are one hour ahead of you. God bless you so much. Hallelujah. God bless you so much. I love this music. Hallelujah. I love you, Jesus. God bless you so much. If you have your Bible, open with me the book of Revelation. Please, to enable me to do some things, I'm going to be coming on live only at night. Only 12 a.m. at night, at midnight. I'm going to be coming online only 12 a.m. at midnight. Help me and invite other friends. Share the video so that others can join us. Hallelujah. I'm going to be coming live only 12 a.m. at midnight. I will not be coming during the day again because of some activities. Hallelujah. My body is telling me, Ross, you need rest. Hallelujah. And I have other family issues to settle. I have other private issues to settle. People are coming in here. 
day after day hallelujah i have other pressing issues to set so we're going to be praying only midnight this is just six days we are praying hallelujah Hallelujah. 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 My voice is cracked. I cannot sing again so loud. God bless you so much. You are all welcome in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Ah, thank you, Jesus. God bless you so much. You are all welcome in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If you have your Bible, you open with me the book of Revelation chapter 5. I'm going to make it very short. We just open and pray. Hallelujah. God is telling me to tell somebody, weep not. Hallelujah. Stop crying. Your crying days are over. You cried too much in 2017. 2018 is not your year of crying. It's your year of blessing. Hallelujah. Get ready for your celebration this year, 2018. Get ready for laughter. Get ready. Hallelujah. Cry no more in 2017. God bless you so much. God bless you for your understanding. Hallelujah. A lot of people are sharing testimonies for what God is doing here. A lot of people, they have testimonies already. And I trust God. Your testimony is next I am waiting for. I will never rest until your testimony comes. I can't rest until your testimony comes. Hallelujah. If you have your Bible, open with me the book of Revelation chapter 5. I'm reading from verse 1 to 5. Hallelujah. Let us see what is written in the scripture. God said, I tell you, weep not. You cried so much. Many of you that are watching this, you cried so much in 2017. 2018, you are no longer crying again. This year, make sure you are laughing. It's your season and your year of laughter. It's your year of celebration. Hallelujah. It's your year of breakthrough. And that is why you must not allow anything that will make you bias. Anything that will make you think this year. Anything that will make you cry this year. Take them out of your life. Get ready for celebration this year. Get ready for laughter. Get ready. Get ready to dance well this year. Hallelujah. Get ready. Get ready to rejoice this year. Get ready to celebrate this year. Get ready to jubilate this year. Hallelujah. Wherever you are, you are all blessed in the name of Jesus. Don't allow anything that will make you to cry come on your way. Hallelujah. When the devil tries to push you to cry, you push yourself and look for things that will make you happy and you go there. Hallelujah. You are all blessed in the name of Jesus. Please, as the message is going on, you're going to click. There will be a place they will tell you if you want to know when Charles Okafo is on the line, you click there. So they will be notifying you, notification button, click in there. So I cannot be coming to invite people again, please. Forgive me. So that we can be able to focus on what we are doing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. All right, I'm going to make it very short. Revelation chapter 5. I'm reading from 1 to 5. Are you with your Bible? God bless you, sister. Cheat him. <laughs> oh, God help me. Let me try to put this one. Thank you, Jesus. Revelation chapter 5. Are you there? I've not seen our sister Iweka. She's not here. Where is sister Iweka? 
Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 5. And the Bible says, And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to lose the seal thereof? And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look therein. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seed. Hallelujah. I read verse 5 again, that's where I'm preaching. Weep not, and one of the angels, elders, said unto me, Weep not. I think it's like the music is loud. All right, thank you for inviting her. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah, root of David, has prevailed to open the book and to lose the seven seal thereof. Hallelujah. What are we trying to do is a prophetic message I've come to preach and to pray for somebody. Actually, the purpose why I am online this afternoon is to pray for somebody who think that 2017 it was unfair to him. Who think that 2017 was not a good year for him. 2017 was not a good year for her. Hallelujah. And things didn't work the way you planned, the way you think it should work for you in 2018. And God is telling me, this 2017, you are also crying again. God says, I should tell you, stop weeping, stop crying. No matter what you lost yesterday, stop crying. No matter what happened yesterday, stop crying. Hallelujah. Weep not, for the lion of the tribe of Judah is on your side. Hallelujah. When the lion of the tribe of Judah is on your side, no other animal can come to you. Remember what happened to Daniel. When the lion of the tribe of Judah is by your side, other animal cannot kill you. Lion cannot kill you. Hallelujah. He is the king of kings. He is the almighty God. He is a shaking of glory. I have not come to preach this afternoon. I have just come to pray for somebody. Your prayer point this morning, you are going to be thanking God wherever you are. Lord Jesus, thank you for being with me. Lord Jesus, thank you for knowing me. Lord Jesus, thank you for loving me. Lord Jesus, thank you for coming for my rescue. Lord Jesus, thank you for coming for my help. Lord Jesus, thank you. Open your mouth and begin to thank God. Hallelujah. Every morning I wake up, I am always thankful to Jesus. Why? Because every time I remember that God is on my side, I'm always happy. Hallelujah. You're going to be happy at this very hour. Because if God be for you, nobody can be against you. Who can battle with the Lord? Nobody can battle with the Lord. If God stand with you, nobody can stand against you. If God is fighting for you, you cannot lose your battle. And I come to pray for you as a servant of Almighty God. The God that winneth all battle without fighting is by your side hallelujah do you know the god we serve he wants battle without fighting hallelujah he is the rock of ages he is the chief commandant of the whole universe i pray for you that that god is here every battle you fought in 2017 that ate you up that make you cry god has come to silence the battles in the name of jesus christ every battle that troubled your family and is as if nobody was able to pull out in your family and every Everybody was crying in your family. This 2018, I come to pray for you. Receive your total deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. I told you that 2018 is a year of transformation. Everything will be transformed for your good. Everything will be turning around for your good. In the name of Jesus Christ, everything will begin to turn around for your good. After this video, in just five, ten minutes prayer, after this video, let me begin to dance around and pray around. Hallelujah. Begin to pray all over your house. I can see everything turning around for my good. I can see everything in my life turning around for my good. I can see my marriage turning around for my good. I can see my, my, my miracle turning around for my good. I can see everything I lay my hands in doing turning around for my good. Open your mouth and begin to pray for yourself. Everything is turning around for my good. Hallelujah. The Bible says, there was a seal. Nobody was able to open the seal. Hallelujah. Nobody was able to open the seal. 
until this angel appear. Until this angel appear, and the angel said unto him, Weep not, stop crying. Your weeping time is over. Your weeping days are over. Your crying days are over. You have cried enough. Hello? You have cried enough. Your crying days are over. You have been crying since your crying days are over. This moment, this year, is not your year of crying. This year is not your year of weeping. This year is not a year people will gather to mock you. People will gather to celebrate you this year. Nobody's coming to tell you sorry this year. People are gathering to celebrate you. In the name of Jesus Christ. How can this year become that which God has planned for you? How can the Lion of Tribe of Judah lose that seal for you? How can the Lion of Tribe of Judah come to work for you? How can the Lion of Judah come to wipe your tears? How can the Lion of Judah come to decorate you? How, what would I do? That should be your question right now. Is Lion of Judah not with me all this while? How can the Lion of Judah change things around for my good? What you need to do? Make Lion of Judah your Lord and your personal Savior. Make Lion of Judah your source, only your source. Make Lion of Judah your pillar. Make Lion of Judah your stand. Make Lion of Judah everything you have. Make Jesus your source. Make Jesus your pillar. Make Jesus all and all in your life. Let Jesus be in your mouth. Hello? There are some things you need to stop this year. There are some language you need to stop. If there are places you used to go to add to the prayer, you stop it. If there are spiritualists you used to visit, cut off from those spiritualists. Hallelujah. If there are spiritualists you used to visit for prayer, for spiritual thing, cut off from that spiritualist. Hallelujah. If there are places you go for deliverance, for uh, places where they used to bath you in the river, stop those places. If there are things you do that is making the Lion of Tribe of Judah angry, stop it. If there are things, every sin you are committing, you know the Lion of Tribe of Judah does not like it, stop it. If you don't stop it, it cannot work for you. Hallelujah. The Lion of Tribe of Judah can only deliver you only when you are working with him. Two cannot work together except they agree together. Amos 3.3 Amos 3.3 three. Two cannot work together except they agree together. If you can agree with God this year, if you can agree with the word of God this year, if you can agree whatever the word of God says this year, you will excel in life. This year will be the best year of your life. God bless you, you work. I've been asking of you. I've not seen your line. Hallelujah. If I don't know anybody's name, I know your name. I've not seen your line. That's why I start asking of you. And Chidema went and invited you. God bless you. You're welcome. Make sure you walk whatever the Bible says. Hallelujah. Now, I told you something the other day. Let me use this illustration to make you, hallelujah, to review to you exactly what I am saying. For example, which bank will I use now? Let me use a Zenith Bank. Let me use Zenith Bank. Do you know Zenith Bank? Now, Zenith Bank is everywhere. And because you cash in in the bank, you don't work in the bank. You are a, you are a customer of the bank. You you pay money. Hallelujah. You put money in the bank. You are a customer, but you don't work in the bank. You come to deposit your money. At the end of the month, we the bank pay you salary. Bank will not pay you salary. You can only withdraw what you invested. Hallelujah. Bank cannot pay you. You withdraw what you invested. And that is what he said. If you don't apply the principle, why? what makes you different between the worker and the customer? Because the workers have principle. That the, the, the owner of the, of the company can shout on the workers anytime. But the owner of the company pets the customer even when the customer is wrong. That's why they used to say customers are always right. Even when customers are wrong, the owner of the company will still pet the customer. That is the difference. Because the customer does not follow anything. But the workers, they have principles, they have rules. You must follow the rules. If you don't obey the rules, it cannot work for you. There is something God said here. It should be Isaiah 119. Let me check my Bible. 
Isaiah 119. Open that place. Let us like that. That's the place it is written. I believe God I got it right. Yeah. Isaiah 119. I got it right. Isaiah 119 it says. If you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. We want the good of the land in 2018, but there are just two things you must do. If you want the good of the land, you want the tribe of the lion of the tribe of Judah to come and deliver you. God bless you, give birth, bro. Give birth. God bless you. How is America? God bless you so much. Now, you want the lion of the tribe of Judah to come to deliver you. There are principles you want to do. Isaiah 1 119. I want you to read it in your house. Isaiah 119, it says, If you are willing, if you be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Two things you need to apply. Willingness and obedience. If you are willing, if you are obedient, you will eat the good of the land. Just these two things. But these are the two major things that we find difficult to apply. We are not willing to study the word of God. We are not willing to fast. We are not willing to keep the word of God. We are not willing to follow the to follow God. We are not willing to follow the ways of God. Hallelujah. We are not willing to do the will of God. And he said, if you are obedient, willingness is different. Obedience is different. Most of us are willing, but we cannot obey the word of God. Sometimes we fail the word of God. We want the word of God to work in our life, but we don't want to obey the word of God. The easiest way for you to eat the good of the land in 2018, child of God, be willing and obedient. Some spiritual things will be happening this year. Mark my lips, some mysterious things. I'm saying it. Mark my lips, some mysterious things that have never happened before. Things that have never been happening before. We start this year 2018. It will be happening. And only they that are highly spiritual will excel this year. Anybody who is carnal minded, you, you are not going anywhere. A carnal minded man will remain one place. Only they that are spiritual sensitive, either in satanic side or in godly side. If you are spiritual sensitive, you are the one that will spread grace this year so get connected wherever you are just two 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 principles you need to obey willingness and obedience are you ready if you are ready can you obey the word of god we don't obey the word of god but we want god to obey his word in our life all we need to do obey the word of god and it will work for you that's why i say have a personal relationship with god make sure you study your bible make sure you pray have your personal relationship with god let there be obedience and willingness in your life hallelujah if you can walk according to the word of God, then the word of God will work for you. If you can obey everything written in the word of God, then the word of God will work for you. Hallelujah. I come to pray for somebody. Receive the willingness in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive the grace to obey the word of God. Receive the grace to obey the word of God so that the word of God will work in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive the grace to walk in the will of God according to God's direction. In the name of Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, and the, this lady was weeping, and one of the angels came, one of the elders came, he says, stop weeping, for the lion of the tribe of Judah has succeeded in losing the seal. I pray for somebody here, everything that belongs to you that died, I lose it in the name of Jesus Christ. Every of your money that is tied somewhere, I lose it in the name of Jesus Christ. Every of your womb, your baby that is tied anywhere, I lose it then in the name of Jesus Christ. I open your womb to be able to carry a baby in the name of Jesus Christ. I open your womb to carry a baby in the name of Jesus Christ. Your money that is tied somewhere, I lose your money in the name of Jesus Christ. Your marriage that is tied, I lose your marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. I break every power that is standing on your way in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power working against your glory, I break them in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever standing on your way, I lose it in the name of Jesus. I'm going to allow you to pray. I give you a prayer point. Begin to pray. Every power holding what belongs to me, lose me and let me go. Every power that 
tithe my money, lose my money, open your mouth and pray wherever you are. Every power that tied my connection, lose my connection in the name of Jesus. Power that tied my husband, lose my husband for me in the name of Jesus. Power that tied my wife, lose my wife in the name of Jesus. Power that tied my baby, lose my baby in the name of Jesus. Power that tied my womb, lose my womb in the name of Jesus Christ. Power that tied my marriage, lose my marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. Power that tied my destiny, lose my destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for total deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. Power that tied my health, lose my health. I receive divine healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I receive divine healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I receive divine healing, divine restoration in the name of Jesus Christ. I receive divine touch in the name of Jesus Christ. I open your mouth and begin to pray. Every power, every power that is tying what belongs to you, power that tied your academics, I command them to lose in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that tied your connection, I command them to lose in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power fighting your glory, I command them to lose in the name of Jesus. Power that tied your helpers, I command them to get loose in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. While we are praying this prayer, God minister to me. There are three of us here. We need to pray this prayer. Every power that tied our destiny help us. Every power that tied our destiny help us. Let those powers lose our destiny help us. Every power from us fighting our destiny help us. Every power from us fighting day that want to bless us. Every power from me fighting everyone that wants to bless me. Let that power destroy. Every power from me fighting my destiny helper. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every power from me fighting my glory. Every power from me fighting my destiny helper. Pray that prayer. Every power from me fighting my destiny helper. Let that power catch fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let that power catch fire. In the name of Jesus Jesus Christ, every power from me fighting my destiny helper, let that power catch fire, every power holding my husband, everyone that wants to come to me, to bless me, to put smile on my face, every power that is fighting them, I command that power to catch fire, in the name of Jesus Christ. Ekubaratu shaladaba, ligredo zikrano shaladaba. E pariana nu zalia pa e chronojete le chronala duzia para tu jata receive your healing in the name of Jesus Christ receive your healing ah Jesus every man that want to help you and they started having problem let the powers fighting them right now be destroyed totally I command a total deliverance upon you now I command a total deliverance upon you now I command a total deliverance upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for that person that is sick may the healing power rest upon you may the healing power rest upon you may the healing power rest upon you in the name of jesus christ may the healing power rest upon you in the name of jesus christ may the healing power rest upon you in the name of jesus christ may the healing power rest upon you in the name of jesus i pray for healing lay your hands upon everyone that the sickness is on your body i command healing in the name of jesus christ i I command healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I command healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ. I never miss word last year. I told you last year that between that last year, December and Easter, that as, as many that are following me online who believe I am truly called of God, I made this pronouncement on October. I have entered agreement prayer that God will say to you, you have you have you are ready to get married. God will say to you between that December to Easter, get prepared because your husband will connect to you. He has no choice. 
he, he has no choice. Satan cannot stop it again. Your husband will connect to you. Your wife will connect to you. Your destiny helpers will connect to you. Hallelujah. Between that time to Easter, something great is about to happen. A great door is about to be opened. You need a baby. Your womb will carry a baby. You want to get married. Your marriage is already a settled case. In the name of Jesus Christ. Like I said, I'm going to round off here. Hallelujah. From this moment, I'm going to be televising on, on a, at midnight alone. Hallelujah. May God bless you so much. I'm going to be televising alone. Hallelujah. I'm going to be televising at midnight, only 12 a.m. midnight. Please, uh, and I want to be coming on my Facebook page, God's Warrior Rema Assembly. Go and like that page. A lot of people want to connect with me on this line. Uh, my friend list is filled up and they want to be commented. Hallelujah. Please look for God's Warrior Rema Assembly. Connect there because I'm going to do a video there. Hallelujah. May God bless you so much. We come meet me at evening. Like I say, this is end time. Have a personal relationship with God. Let your trust be in Jesus. And that is the only way Jesus can save you and do what you want him to do for you. In the name of Jesus. God bless you so much. We still need help. Hallelujah. The crusade is fast approaching. If God is touching you, please find a way and emboss me so that we can talk on how we can do it. Hallelujah. May God bless you so much. I still remain your brother, Charles Freeman Okafo. I am in Lagos, Nigeria. You want us to discuss anything, emboss me. Hallelujah. And you want God to use you to be a blessing to a ministry. Hallelujah. Emboss me. We want to get a place. We want to get a place. Hallelujah. May God bless you so much. God bless you. We are coming. God's warrior, Rema Assembly, is written on my wall. Let me see if I can write it here. Like this page, God's Warrior. It is written together. God's Warrior is together. God's Warrior Rema Assembly. Go there and like the page. Hallelujah. Because I'm going to be coming online there so that a lot of people can be able to join the page. Hallelujah. A lot of people want to join. I have been unfriending people. I don't know who to unfriend again. Hallelujah. Everybody is important to me. Hallelujah. So please, let's go to that page. May God bless all of you so much. Please, we're going to be coming at midnight. Midnight prayer is more effective than day prayer. Hallelujah. In any way, God has touched you. Be a blessing to us. I'm waiting for you in the name of Jesus. God bless you. My name is Sirimen Charles Freeman Okafo. I love you. Remember, this is end time. This is the last day. Jesus can come at any time. Be with Jesus. Jesus is working. I am testifying. God bless you. See you at midnight.